train spotting. Train spotting. Uh, we never wanted to be part of train spotting uh, because it was a. We our friends had read this book by Irving Welsh, and they said, "Oh, it's fantastic! It's all about drugs and getting kind of really messed up." I was a terminal alcoholic, and I didn't want to have anything. Our music have anything to do with drink or drugs or anything like that. Rick was the same. This is not about drug culture. This is about uh, transcendence through music, not through drug, taking drugs. So our friends said, it's a great book and it's all about taking drugs and getting messed up. And then we heard it was turned into a film and we were like, no way. We're going to have nothing to do with this. So Danny Boyle, the director, had to persuade us to let him use our music. And he did that by getting us into the edit suite and uh, playing us some bits of the film. There was no way that they were celebrating getting messed up on drugs. There's the scene where he goes into the toilet and the other scene with the baby is on the ceiling. And he's just like, no, this isn't, this isn't saying drug culture is cool. This is kind of saying it's really messed up. And uh, so that's when, that's when he said, fine, do what you want. The way he used it was quite extraordinary because it was kind of, it was used at the end to celebrate life, which was a, a great way of turning a, a track which the lyrics were about the misery of dying of alcoholism with Rick's amazing music. And it was used in a way right at the, at the end of the film, which was about celebrating life, which is pretty cool, really.